Hello, Matthew Tamier from LearnJoomlaFast.com, where we teach you how to create professional websites without being a professional coder with Joomla. In this lesson, I want to show you how to add your first class using the Joomla LMS um, extension. So you log into the back end, you want to go where it says user management, and you want to click a new click on a new button. And you can either browse on your site to add an existing user. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to add this user. And then this is where you get to choose the role. If you want this person to be a teacher, uh, the parent, CEO, whatever roles that you want to give them. So in this case, I'm going to put this here as the teacher. And when you've done that, you click on save and close. So you've closed it. Now you want to go on the front end to log in. So when you log in, you can go to courses. And this is where you're going to be able to create a new course. You can either import a course, a uh, zip file, or you can just start a new one. So in this case, you want to create something new. So you want to click on new. And you want to choose the category uh, for this particular course. And this one, I'm going to you know, put Joomla courses or whatever category that you've created. Now, one of the great things about this is you can have multiple categories and create a course and assign a course to each one. So we're going to call this course Joomla for Beginners. And then you can put your description in here. I'm just going to copy this here and then just sort of paste it there. But you get the, you get the point. So once you're done, you can either click on Save and Close which you don't want to do because you're still creating a course or so save and next when you click on save and next you have a bunch of different options here that you can be able to add you can add the logo for this particular course so this like the course uh, image so you click on select now you can choose here one of the images or you can upload your own so if you have a particular uh, image that you want to use for that course you can do that but for, in this case I'm going to click on one of the ones that they have here and then click on choose so now that course image has been chosen and next you have the template template icon you can lift that as the default and this is where you get to put in your teachers information like their photo or their name their background a little bit of bio about them so you want to click where it says photo click on select once again you can click to upload and get the picture from your computer but since I already uploaded one here I'm just going to choose this one so now the teacher image has been uploaded the teacher's name and then you put in a profession And then you can put in a little bit of description here about this person. And you go down here. So you want to have the, the grading method. So you have the best score results or the last, uh, last score results. Just pretty much just for tracking uh, the performance of your students. And then the course homepage, you have the auto-redirect to learning path for students. You can choose that as yes or choose that as no. This is going to auto-redirect them to a specific learning path. And we're going to cover that later on. And if you do that, then you'd have to choose the learning path from here. But since we don't have anything set up and this is the first course, you want to just um, leave that to, to know for now. And do you want to show course description for learners? You set that to yes. And then here, there's the scorm files that you can upload in the progress bar and the text icon, which I'm going to cover a little bit more about scorm uh, later on. And then you can choose here for the global settings for the quiz. You can choose to show uh, the prerequisites or to hide them. And this is where the prerequisites are. But since this is the first course, we don't have anything else set up. All this default settings are okay for now. And then if you want additional information for the registry, you can set that to yes or no. Now, if you do want to collect a little bit more additional stuff, you set that to yes, you can type in what that you what information that you would like to collect from them as they're registering for an account with you. And then you want to go over to save and next. So with the save and next option, once you get to this page, there's the pricing and the publishing. If you have if you have a course uh, that is free, you leave this here to free. If you have a course that you wanted to start and end on a particular date, this is real important that you utilize this here. So let's say you're offering a course and you want students to have access to this course, let's say for one month. And after one month, they can't get access to it or they would have to resubscribe or whatever it is. You click on start date and you choose the time frame that you want them to start having access to it and the time that you want them to end from having access to it. This is really, really great because there are some courses that maybe you want to do like a preview course or something like a free demo course that you want people to try out for about a month or two weeks or a few days. And after that time frame is expired, they no longer have access to it. So you can choose this options here. So I'm going to lift that as that. I want to make sure this course is set to publish. And it's a course. Is it free or is it paid? If you have a paid course, you click on this. You can put in the title here. I'm just going to put in paid course. And you can choose the basic, the type of the basic from date to date, date to lifetime, 
X day access. So if you want to give them access for a period of time, let's say for three days, well, they're going to get access for three days. And after that day is over, they're going to have to pay whatever price, you know, that you put here. So three days or one week. This is really great for trial courses. Uh, let's go over to the date to date. If you want to have access to this course from one day to another, you can do that. And once that date expires, they're going to have to pay this price in order to continue watching that course. And then date to lifetime. So this pretty much from this date on for the lifetime of that course, they're going to get access to it all with a discount. If you want to give them a certain percent of discount for this course, you can put that amount here. So these are the types that gives you a really great way for you to choose the type of uh, options that you want to give to your students. But in this case, I'm going to leave this course for free. And then you want to click on save and next. So in the save and next part, when you get to the course format, you have a bunch of different options here. You have a section here for the teacher tools and you have a section here for the learner tools. You can enable or disable what you don't want the student to currently have access to. So if you don't have access to the chat, you can take that off or to the mailbox. You can disable that or to the help. You can disable that. But for now, I'm just going to leave all this option checked so you can pretty much scroll through here and disable the ones that you don't want for students to have access to yet. And the same thing too for uh, the, uh, the teacher. Now the webinar part of it, that's not there because that uses go to meeting. So you have to create an account with them and we'll set that up, you know, later on in the course. And next you want to click on, and then also you can change your the select course format. So you want to keep the existing format. Do you want to learn in path based lecture based material or webinar based? So let's choose the learning path based. So when you choose the learning path based, you can be able to customize things and we're going to get to the next phase uh, to show you how to do that but this pretty much gives you a learning path based on what the student is learning uh, and, and it's really something too that's really you know good to have and you have the modules here about this course uh, Juma LMS learning path uh, Juma LMS so you can change all of these items on this page and this is what's available for the teacher and the student so based on the option that you choose here is going to give you something uh, a little bit different for the different sections here. So you scroll down here, the webinar based. So let's just go to the learning path now. And next, you want to click on save and next. And when you get this message, you just click on OK. Now this is your your course layout, and this is where you get to add modules on the page. You get to structure and customize the page how you want it to be. So let's say you want to add a course description. You click on this. You can add the course description for this course. And you click on save. So now that's the course description. So you want to add another module. So you click on add module. So you can think of this as organizing things how you want the student to be able to see how it's presented to the student. So you want to have a subscribe button. I'm just going to click on uh, the Joomla LMS here. And feel free to just click on each one so you kind of get a feel for how how it looks. And then you click another add module. And then you click on Gemini's quizzes. We don't have any quizzes set up for now. And as you click on it, it's going to remove it from here. So it's not going to show up in here anymore. So I've added a couple of modules. And then you have the right side of it. So let's add a module on the right side of it. And you're going to see how this looks when we get to the next phase of it. So you can have a new message. And let's add one more here. Subscribe. Okay, so now you've added those. You click on save and close. So now when you come back on the home page here, my courses, this is the course that you just created. You can either click here. If you want to publish it, to publish it is right there. If you want to disable it, it's this little icon here. You have an announcement, you have assignment, you have mailbox, and you have certificates. So certificates, when student completes it and they pass based on a certain percentage, uh, they can do that. So let's click on this little edit here. Let's edit this course. So there's several things you can add to this course. Let's see you want to add some documents. You click on documents. You click on where it says new. You can add a new document, a new folder, or you can get a document from the library. So let's click on a new folder. This can be like your course files that you want to put everything in one in one particular folder. So course files. 
and then you choose the path of this which is by default is in there you want us to publish yes and once again if you want to give students a certain period of time for them to get access to this material is great now this is a feature that i really love because there are times when you would give a trial course and you want students to have access to this particular material for a period of time and then after that they don't have access to it anymore they would have to subscribe or update or whatever uh, that you're trying to get from them or whatever direction that you want them to go and you can have this to, to be like a time base where after a certain period of time this is what's going to happen so you put the description here for this particular folder and you can put in more here and then you click on save so now you have the course files there so let's go over here click on new document and then you can choose the type of documents let's say you want to add an image so, or pdf or something that you can attach you click on this choose file so i've just chosen the file for this particular course if i wanted to add some more i click to add, put the name of it i'm going to put the name here picture if you have a pdf you can put a pdf or whatever it is that you want to put there and then you go to extract files you can automatically extract it set to yes uh, upload zip file as content package so you want to choose where this go you want to choose where it's a course file because you're going to add this particular document for that particular uh, course files that you just created and then you set this to publish you can set to yes and once again you have the flexibility for the start date and the end date and the release time you can leave that to no and you can add multiple files to this so once you're done adding, you can add your description here. It's really not required, but you can put your description here. If you want to, put a short description here. And let's click on Save. So now you've just attached uh, some courses, some materials, uh, documents to this particular one here. So you've just successfully added your first course. And the next lesson, I'm going to walk you through some of these here, how to try and explain a little bit more where the, you know, the course home, first one of the documents, the learning path, uh, the quizzes, the grade book. A tracking and so on and so forth kind of show you a little bit more but this was really meant to get you set up to create your first course so now that you've set that up in the next video we're going to learn how to add more stuff to that course